everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'm here at home base. Uh, it's truly home base. It's not one of the farms. That's home base camp. So home base here is, I guess I should talk about how I got here uh, briefly. I'm not going to get into a bunch of details, but you know, I had rented a place not far from here for nine years, always on time. The rent was real affordable. It was a four bedroom house in the country. Uh, it was just a great deal. Uh, that's why I was there for so, uh, so long. Well, uh, I guess to make it short. The owners were, they just weren't good with their dollars and they got themselves in a financial predicament that the, uh, the place was going up for a share of sale. So, yeah, I had already gotten itchy feet and had this idea of uh, RVing full time, and uh, and when that started happening, uh, or getting closer, I get notifications in the mail. They, of course, they notify the the owners are obviously involved and get their share of paperwork and uh, notifications and warnings. But they sent it to the residents as, as well, so you know I started getting junk, bunch of mail for you know legal stuff and and uh, you know I just didn't want to hang around to you know watch people pulling down on the driveway that might be interested in the property and snooping around and or any of the drama that might be involved with the the owners or uh, those things drew closer and I thought I'm just I'm just packing I'm it's, it's time I'm I wanted to get out anyway uh, do something different and, and here I am so it, it kind of moved up my plans a little bit yeah and it's worked out a, it's, it's worked out just fine actually you know I didn't know what to do I thought you know maybe I'll live in my RV for the summer and save some money and pay some debt off and or should I get a cheap apartment somewhere and just, you know, RV here and there because uh, I feel like it? And, or should maybe I find a little house or a mobile home out in the country, uh, you know, keeping things uh, minimal cost. And my buddy says, you know, if you need some time to uh, sort things out, figure out what you're going to do, and uh, you need some time to shop around the and decide what it is, yeah, what you want to do. He says, if you want to plug your RV in out here at the garage, just hang out out here for the summer or whatever. It's actually open ended, so so that's pretty nice. Uh, you're more than more than welcome to. So, yeah, I wasn't sure about that at the time, but uh, in the end, I asked if he was, you know, serious about that, and he said, sure. So uh, this has been home. This has been home uh, home base now. Uh, I, you know, my buddy's a great guy. <laughs> That's all I can say. So I spent the summer, you know, out and out and about, uh, traveling and RVing. Just <laughs> to my my, I don't know what to say. It's been great. So, you know, but I come out. I, I guess the only, the only, uh, the only thing I've really done uh, around here was. Uh, I did a couple odd jobs, a couple things that need fixed or uh, taken care of, but uh, for the most part, you know, I've just helped mow the grass around here. And there's probably probably close to three acres. And my buddy is a pretty busy guy. You know, he he has a camp that he likes to spend some time at, and really taking care of this place, uh, coming home, and uh, having to spend uh, at least one night out of the week mowing because you know it takes a couple hours. So after a long work day. Uh, coming to moan one night. That's just one night a week less he has to maybe go do his thing at his camp. So uh, I've been taking care of the helping him out uh, and, and taking care of the mowing. You know, I try to be here at least once a week and, uh, and mow before I head back out. You know, it's a place to come in and just uh, plug in and catch up on a couple of things and, you know, check my mail. Well, that's it. I got my mowing. I got my mowing duties done, and uh, we're out of here. We got, we're, uh, that's it, we're unplugged. We're gonna stop at the store, get restocked, 
and uh, I'm gonna head out again. Okay, I'm back. That didn't take long. We went to, uh, <clears throat> we did our Walmart thing, uh, picked up some supplies, and uh, it came out here to Crooked Creek, and uh, Crooked Creek Lake, and uh, you might see why, uh, here, here's why I like this place. It's a Sunday evening, and it's, uh, and, oh, oh, there's Baxter. And there's like nobody here. There was nobody here, but, then one camper came up and parked up by the bathhouse. Or actually, it's not a bathhouse. It's just, it's just restrooms uh, up there. But I think there's 46 sites here. Uh, there's no hookups. Yeah, it's uh, only $15 a night. Uh, I'm fine without hookups. Probably have something to do why, <laughs> with why it's not wildly popular. As people enjoy their hookups. I think we're just going to record from the RV down here this morning. Uh, I think there's some important business going on down here. <laughs> yeah, some real important business. <laughs> now, something's going on here that uh, I don't want to interfere and be talking on the camera. Look like I'm talking to myself. Uh, those fellows down there are. Doo -doo. Let's see what this says. Loading no wake sign. Huh. Should have told that to the guy that was water skiing down here last week. So these guys look like they're doing some important business. But here's a boat launch and it goes on out into the lake into the out that away. And the reason I say I think they're up to some official business. US government official use only. Fishing boat commission. So, you know, they're doing down there doing whatever it is they're doing. But I thought we'd take a ride down here to the boat launch area. So and there was parking for boats and boat trailers. And here's additional parking for boats and boat trailers. And when they're really busy. There's even more <laughs> parking for boats and trailers up here. So we gotta climb, we gotta go back up the hill. They have another nice recreational area down here. So down here, it's, uh, eh, excuse the dirty windows in the sun, but nice play uh, area down there, pavilion, pavilion, uh, another uh, restroom down here. And, yeah, that's an easy, easy walk down over that bank, down over there to the water to, to fish. I'm gonna pull over this little pull off here. Uh, it's part way up the boat ramp road. So down over the hill is the boat ramp, and the little recreation area is right down. It over goes there. out around that way, and then it kind of makes an S turn, comes down this way, and the lake goes on up. Way down around that bend, and it makes another horseshoe around to the left where the beach area is. And then it continues on down around to where the dam is on the other side of that hill and where the spillway is. So we'll, we'll make our way down there. So this is the uh, recreation area across from the campground. 
and we'll go right across the road here. It's camping area road. Yeah, getting late, getting late in the season here. <laughs> so here, yeah, so you can see where the uh, the grass is the greenest, you know, where they regularly mow, and then all that works brown. That whole area, you know, was left go high weeds, just like on this side of the road. You know, they cut a little more road, but it's all left over the road. So, you know, they've cut all that back. It goes way, way back in there. Let me see if I can get some zoom going on here. So, there we go. So this is where the uh, dog park and frisbee golf, how they call it, disc golf. Maybe because uh, frisbee is a brand name or trademark, I don't know. They call it disc, flying disc. down yeah comes down that hill to the uh, beach area is just right around the bend over in there and there's bath houses oh yeah. yeah there they are in the center so let's see where Baxter went hey what are you doing over there get out of that <laughs> that's a good boy come on this way this way Here's the bad dog. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, ready? 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 Let's go. Ready to go? Come on, let's go. Come on, get in. We're going down the peninsula where the beach is. This used to be a pay, a pay for a beach. We want to go swimming down here. I don't know if it was a dollar a person, a dollar a car, but there was a box down here. You had to put a dollar in. Kind of like a, it's an honor system. Kind of like up at the campgrounds. It's self-registering. You know, you put fifteen dollars cash or check, whatever, in an envelope. You deposit it in the uh, in the cash box. And this was also paid for, but it's no longer. No longer, it's just free. So, um, on this side is the water that we were just up on that hill over there. There's the, the patrol or rescue boat over there. You can see the power of the dam is over on that hill up there in the distance. So, yeah, here's the water. Uh, there's the beach down there. Okay. We'll get out there in a minute. I am curious, once upon a time, I don't know if I mentioned in the video already or not, on uh, some of the upkeep of this park was kind of left go for a while. And the last time I was in these restrooms, you see that is a, can't be too sure, that is, that's still mean men, right? So, the last time I was in uh, in these, you know, it was a few years ago, and they were really pretty defunct at that point. Defunct. I like that word. So, nothing special and no roofs. Talk about old school. So, women's room and a men's room and no other. Whew. This place needs to get with the times, huh? <laughs> but, all right. Here's the crazy thing about this <laughs> RVing business. <laughs> At least the way I do it. I don't know where I'm going to be tonight. <laughs> you know, it's probably coming up on noon. I don't know where I'm gonna spend the night at. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'll figure it out. Oh, I thought I'd add this in case I forgot. Yeah. I'd love to have flown my drone here. It would have been a great overview uh, of this lake. But I asked the park ranger if uh, drones are prohibited. And without hesitation, <laughs> yes, they are prohibited. And the number one answer she gave me was 
because the bathrooms and changing rooms do not have roofs on them. So that from the sky, huh, the drone, you can see down there in the channel. Well, okay. So lastly, to connect the two ends, that water up there on up the ways is where the boat launch area is. And come all the way down around. There's one other, there's somebody else over there. I think they're just bird watching. I think they got them some binoculars out. But water continues on around. Nice volleyball net. And the way over there is the beach. On up that way. Is the somewhere in a park that there was nobody at to, so Baxter could run loose for a little bit and uh, yeah so there's a here's the dam it's always nice to find a shady spot for the RV and we'll take a walk over here to the outflow here's something nice down here uh, of course there is handicap parking up at the very corner and over there's a, a ramp and a uh, and a deck so uh, make it a little easier for handicapped to, uh, folks to go down there and fish. Yeah, and there it is. If the, if the water's low, that water is usually gushing out of there. So it's low. Baxter's keeping an eye on, uh, he spotted a groundhog down there. He sure would like to go get that groundhog. out of here for real this time. There's that groundhog down. Baxter says I'd like to go get me some of that groundhog. He's tugging at the leash. <laughs> Anybody that ever tried to film while they have a dog leash in one hand. Hope you can appreciate how still I can hold this holding on to this leash. Uh, there's a dog that would like to go take a bite of that groundhog, but it's not gonna happen. Baxter's not one to tug on a leash when we go for a walk. If there's a if there's a critter involved. Who's there? Where's that groundhog? Huh? Where's that groundhog? Where'd he go? Huh? Just come out, groundhog. Come out to play. <coughs> come out to play, groundhog. Come on. <coughs> Baxter's 
Well, that's it for Crooked Creek. The only decision I've made besides uh, beyond that is we're going north. I don't know where we're going to end up at, uh, but it'll be north of here. Right, Baxter? How's that song go? I don't know where we're going, but I sure know how to get there. <laughs> so, until next time, uh, see ya.